COVID, COVID, where did you come from? COVID, COVID, you are not the one. COVID, COVID, you messed up my life. COVID, COVID, you bring a lot of strife. COVID, 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 COVID. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. COVID-19, where you come from? Where you come from? Who sent you? You know, COVID-19 is something that nobody was expecting. And it interrupted everybody. Everybody plans. Everybody had plans 2020. And just so out of the blues, out of the blues, COVID-19 decided to show up his ugly head. So, I'm ready. I'm ready to share my story with you and how COVID-19 has affected my life. And I'm sure it has affected your life. So, I mean, no matter where you are, remember this is a world pandemic. And you could be rich, you could be poor, middle class, ugly, good looking, handsome, beautiful. COVID-19 has affected our lives tremendously in a big way. And I just want to share some things that has been changed over the course of one year. You'll be surprised to see how things change. Oh my God! So back in 2019, I traveled and I had a really great time. Awesome time and I had plans for 2020. I traveled later in 2020, so yeah, it was um it was really great i mean i just all i could do now is just think about those times just reminisce you know just looking at old pictures and videos i took while i was abroad <laughs> and uh, it is extremely frustrating doing that right especially with the borders closed right now and they can't go to you anywhere it has really caused me to uh, I, I feel a sense of sadness, you know. I don't want to really go into depression. I don't think I'm at a stage yet where I fall into depression. But, you know, everybody had plans. We had plans. We had plans for the future. And uh, I'm so amazed at how one thing can just change everything, you know. Right, so back to that. 2019, I had great plans. I traveled abroad. And bam! 2020 came, you know, in New Year's, you're making your plans, you're making your long term, your long, your long term, long term, <laughs> your long term goals, your short term goals, and you know, you're setting your deadlines of when you want to reach these goals and things, you know, and I was so excited. I mean, everybody was excited about 2020. I mean, come on, a new year coming, you know, you want to elevate yourself, you want to go to the next level and thing, you know. So yeah, girl, I was so happy and looking forward for 2020. Okay, I now, apart from back that I'm looking for I had two streams of income, right? right? I see. I had, and I, had this, I, I owned and I operated a daycare by the side, and I also had a taxi bringing in funds. So I had two streams of income. So things were pretty looking up for me, right? Things were, things were, things were, things were good. It was good. It was good. And then, you know, I decided to sell the van, well, the taxi, right? I sell the taxi, man, because I wanted to venture into something else, right? So selling the taxi and just waiting for certain things because remember I had plans, so I said, okay, by selling the taxi and bam, this time I'll do this. So the taxi was sold in the end of January, beginning of February around there. And then, as you know, COVID happened. We were hearing it on the news, you know, but we didn't really think that it will reach so fast and the the um the restrictions will come so quickly. You know, nobody was thinking that. Nobody thinking of at all. I mean, you were hearing it and you know so many persons died in China and all them things, but we didn't expect it to reach so far, man. I mean like nah. So in March of 2020, guess what happened? We had a lockdown. We had lockdown. 
couldn't go anywhere, borders closed. And that was frightening. That was so frightening for me. And when I looked, I said, but oh my god, why? Why? I mean, I just saw this this taxi. Why this have to happen? You know, why didn't I wait a little longer? Because could you believe that is a, um, in the previous year, 2019, I was attempting to sell this, this taxi and it wasn't it wasn't I wasn't getting any buyer buyers. But as 2020 hit and I decided to try again, bam, it was sold. So I lost that stream of income. Then when they sh then when when the restrictions came, closing borders, closed schools, daycares, everything shut down. I lost that stream of income. So I'm back to square one with one stream of income. And you know that is not sufficient, right? Because when you have multiple expenditures, you have bills to pay, one stream of income is never enough, right? Never enough. I don't know if you're if you know that, but it's true. One stream of income ain't enough, right? So I am I'm excited. I felt so despondent and you know, trying to stay positive in the midst of it and you know, everybody went into panic attack and you know, buying everything buying toilet paper, buying ball canting <laughs> I was so like, wait boy, what's going on here boy? so you know, emergencies came up and the more you dug into the money, the money just kept decreasing, decreasing, decreasing and then you know, we had online school, so I had to make so many adjustments. I went on to rotation at work. Thank God that I wasn't laid off from work. I thank God so much for the company that I work with and work for. And um, it's, it's, it's such a blessing, you know, in every negative thing, you always look for the positives. Because so many persons lost their jobs in that, in that period of time. So many persons lost their jobs, you know, so it lost income. So I'm still not in a bad position, right? I'm still not in a bad position and I thank God for that. I really thank God for that, right? Although I was on rotation, like going to work like two, two days a week, sometimes three days a week, I was still getting full pay and I thank God for that so much, right? So that was an awesome, that was an awesome thing. So that's what happened there. I guess see where people, where businesses have shut down. The malls are empty, everybody is moving out, everybody is packing up. And it's so sad. I don't know, I don't know. But COVID-19 has really, really affected me deeply, tremendously. Oh my god, I can't, I can't even understand and begin to, you know. Hmm. I never expected that, but that I never planned for it. And that is why it's so important to have an emergency fund. Right, for things for emergencies like this, because this is an emergency, and when you don't have that, it puts you in a lot of strain, right? It puts a lot of strain on you. Now, I have to manage um, the children at home studying online, it's just crazy, it's just crazy. I mean, I'm telling you, I know that I'm not in the worst position, I know that there are lots of people out there who might be better off and some might be worse off than me, right? So I'm not I'm not um, saying that you know I'm in such a place where like things are just really really bad but COVID-19 has brought on a lot of stress on people and I try not to take on the stress because stress is increased my blood pressure so I just try not to take on the stress you know but because the good thing about it is that you know many families were able to like for me I was able to spend more time with my children, spend more time at home and you know and that's just a good thing about it, right? Spend more time with my children, you know, and it's just awesome. And I I don't know how it has affected you, but God knows that we are gonna get out of this some way or the other. There is this is not gonna last forever, nothing lasts forever. And we just have to look for the good in this, right? Even though all the negatives are just popping up its head, financial pressure is the worst thing. Worst thing I tell you guys. Financial pressure when they can't see uh, something coming in, it's, it's really hard. And let us not run to, you know, desperation can lead us to do a lot of crazy stuff, right? It affected me. It has affected me. It took away my streams of income. So I have less, um, in, I have less income to, to you know, <sighs> COVID-19 
2019. It's not easy guys and it's it's you just have to find a way to, to make it okay. You just have to find a way to cope right now. Now it's about coping because a lot of people they died, they got sick, they died and they go bam bam bam. We are still alive and we are telling me time where I was like, sometime ago I was looking at you know, some videos and I was like, oh my god, Father God, please forgive me for being ungrateful because I could have been dead, I could have gotten sick. Not once, not once. I have two asthmatic children and I was so fearful for them. Like, I was so fearful, but because I have the um, medication and all of that, just in case something happens, you know, but nothing has happened to them. I can't go so much for that. So I'm the positive thing in it. Nothing has happened and I just want to go to I say God, I might not be financially stable and the finances that I used to have may not be coming in with, may not be flowing the way I want to flow. But you have kept us from being sick. You have kept us and you have protected us from this virus. Yes, I had plans for 2020 and you know I just felt that as though it had just gone on the drain but I still thank you God thank you I thank you that you have kept me and thank God I just thank God and I just ask him to forgive me for being grateful for the you know, emphasizing and you know just thinking about what I have lost but I have not lost my life I have not lost my health I'm still here you are still here so please 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 I don't know your situation but just keep your head up because this thing is not going to last forever. We are going to beat this thing. We just have to stay focused, stay positive. Alright guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If COVID-19 has impacted your life in one way or the other, feel free to share it down below. I'll be waiting to read your comments. Alright guys, so see you in my next video. Bye!